Joe, well, what about uh, Vince and Dominic? Where are they today? Well, Vince is out in Los Angeles. I think he's in the insurance, a little bit of everything, yeah. you know, and you can't keep up with him. But Dom's in the polyurethane business. After he got through playing with the Boston Red Sox, he stayed right there. His wife is from there, and of course, he does get out to visit us every so often in San Francisco because I happen to have a boat out there, and he loves to salmon fish. So when he gets out there about four or five times a year, he jumps on that boat and gets lost, you know, and he enjoys that good old fog and not that humidity to get back <laughs> east. Did the three brothers ever play together on the same team at any time? Not any uh, one league game, but we were on the field at one time. We played a, uh, an exhibition for charity, and uh, that was... Uh, I imagine during a war where they got us out of the uniform mm -hmm. and put us out in the field, that was in Tampa. It was Vince, Don, I, myself, the three of us were playing the outfield in that particular game, and I believe it might have been against the Red Sox, were there, uh, the Cincinnati Reds. Were there any other brothers who were involved in baseball? I had an older brother, Tom. Uh -huh. He runs the restaurant out uh -huh. there in San Francisco, and uh, Tom is about 72 years old, and he was the breadwinner of the family, yeah. being the oldest, you know. But he certainly had a great opportunity uh, to be in baseball, but he had to forsake it only because of like I had just mentioned, he had to help Dad out there in the fishing boat and so forth. But uh, Vince, uh, I would say Tom uh, would have been quite a ball player. He uh, was about 5'10 in stature and uh, weighed about 175, 180 pounds mm -hmm. and could hit a ball as powerful as anybody I'd ever seen. Of course, when I was a kid and I admired and looked up to him. And as a great fielder, he would have made it good in the major leagues. Joe DiMaggio, growing up, was there an idol of Joe DiMaggio? In well, baseball? I had a couple because uh -huh. they came from that area, you know, and they come out and talk to us every so often. That was Joe Cronin and Lefty mm -hmm. O'Doul. And Lefty was always a great favorite of the kids out there, you know. He'd uh, get around the North Beach area where I was born, raised, and uh, not exactly born, but I was raised around that area. And when Lefty'd come around, he'd always had a half a dozen baseballs in the trunk. And uh, after he'd go, go clubbing, he'd come out, you know, and uh, he'd open up that trunk and just throw a couple of baseballs at us kids because he knew we played down a <laughs> horse's lot, you know, where. We used to have makeshift bases like a piece of rock for first and a piece of board for home plate. And we used the boat oar for a baseball, <laughs> uh, for a bat. So uh, and he knew all these things, and he certainly would uh, uh, take care of us kids. You know, I've always wondered this question. Had you met Ernest Hemingway because he referred, you know, his book, The Old Man in the Sea, he talked about the great DiMaggio. Had you ever met?